Pop Warner Bros. Republic, but this is your friend James. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich and you. The blessing of the Lord and you. Let's jump right in. Psalm 67, 5-7. Well, but I didn't need to add that. Ah, let's jump right in. Psalm 67, 5-7. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Let the people praise thee. Guys, let the people praise thee. And this is a... This is not a joke. Like God said, let us make man, give permission. Let us make man our image. Let light be. Let us make light. Give permission. When you say let, that means God says give permission to. So let the people praise you. What does that mean? That means that uh, this deals with parents and wicked wicked politicians. Remember when Jesus was coming in the for Pat, the Palm, we like to say Palm Sunday. He was coming into Jerusalem, getting ready for the Passover. And they said, and the people were praising. The people said, forbid the people to praise you. No, God said, Jesus said, no, you have to let them praise me. Otherwise, if they shut up, shut their mouths, the rocks will cry out. So let the people praise thee. So that means parents, teachers, ministers of the gospel, pastors, you have to let people praise God. Dancing in the spirit, jumping up, shouting. See, people are interfering with the praise and worship of the Lord Jesus Christ because they're not doing what they're supposed to do. He says, let the people praise thee. That means praise is so important. So let, oh God, let the people praise thee, oh God. Praise and worship the poor, but this God. God allow the people to praise thee, oh. Let the people praise thee, oh God. God is the one we're praising. God is the one we're worshiping. God is the one who allows the sacrifices of praise to come up into his ears. See, this is praise thee, oh God. Now, who are they praising? They're praising God. They're not praising man. They're not praising medicine. They're not praising what they did on their own. They're praising God. They're not praising the might of their hand. They're not praising, you know, uh, like we say, medicine. They're not praising the bank. They're not praising education. They're not praising humanity. They're praising God. Let all the people praise thee. So let all the people, every single person, not, not some, not partial. Uh-oh. So all those, all those wicked governors and mayors and ministers, um, uh, yeah, prime ministers and people around the world and presidents who said the people aren't allowed to come and praise the Lord in the congregation during the artificial coronavirus pandemic. Artificial because it came out of a lab in China. Artificial. It didn't come to Chinese people didn't make it themselves. It wasn't the whole group of China trying to come around the world. But, you know, artificial because some group of people who happened to be in China, were doing something in the lab, and the people, the wicked people present. But listen, all the people praise the Lord. That means nobody was supposed to be stopped from being able to come and praise the Lord in the congregation. I will praise the Lord in the congregation. So all the people praise. That means we are not supposed to be hindering anybody, parents, teachers, ministers of the gospel. Children are supposed to be able to praise the Lord wherever the Lord shows fit. Praise is commonly for the upright. We don't praise the Lord on purpose just so people can see us. That's nonsense. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, you have your reward. If your purpose of praising God is to be seen, then you're seen the end. That don't help you. So let the people then let, but if you praise Lord for in the beauty of holiness to worship him and adore him and thank him for what he's done, let the people praise thee, then you can do that. Let, 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 the, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Uh oh, people need to get out of, uh, people need good, they need to get out of drought. They need good crops. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Uh oh, let the people praise thee, O God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. So we're saying increase, a supernatural increase, is prosperity. One of the avenues of prosperity that we haven't really discussed heretofore is just praise. Praise makes the earth bring forth her increase. So if you got a farm, praise the Lord. If you have a store, praise the Lord. If you have family, praise the Lord. It brings, the earth brings forth increase when the people praise the Lord. So that means, hey, that, that brings us back to humility and not pride. People who forget the Lord their God don't praise the Lord their God. They're not praising and thanking and worshiping the Lord for who he is and what he's done for them, how he's brought them through, and he's, there, he's continuing to bless them. Then shall the earth yield her increase. So if they don't do it, the earth won't yield her increase. So you look around in countries where there's stark uh, desert and people are starving. What God are they serving? This is very important to understand because the earth is not going to yield its increase in places where people are not following God. 
in the tropics, which is a sad case because the earth is just so blessed, or especially around the equator. People who are some, there are some places around the equator where, you know, the people are just ignorant and they you know, the, everything's just blessed. Everything seems to be going well. But the earth is not even yielding its full increase if they're not praising the Lord. And that's how some people get into, like we say, they forget the Lord their God because everything's taking care of them. They ain't got to do anything. And so they're chilling and they forget God. But it said if you want the earth to yield the increase and you haven't been having the your earth yield the increase, it's time to praise the Lord. And that's what praise and worship's for. He inhabits the praises of the people. When the prophets came, when the prophet came in the Old Testament to the city, they said, What's the state of the city? It was Elisha, actually. Um, there was a well that was bad. The water was bad, and he healed the well. Every time the prophet showed up, things got better. Every time Jesus showed up, things got better for us, for earth. So then the earth should increase. increase. So then shall. So that means if you don't do the first part, you don't get the second part. People want increase, and they want to do it apart from God. That's what humanistic socialism is. That's what humanism is. Humanism. You know, you're doing it apart from God. So you're going to make the earth yield or increase. It doesn't work like that. You're not trusting God for it. It's socialism. You're, you're going to get stuff from, you're going to try to get other stuff from other people so the earth can yield their increase. It's not a joke. You make people work. Communism. You bring people to work in your fields. More, oh, we get more workers. We can get more crops. Genetic engineering. We can get more crops. Come on. You know, irrigation. We'll do, okay, we can do irrigation. We can control the weather and throw water and stuff all over the place. You'll rain it, you know, do all the stuff and give it the vitamins and minerals and put the, the salt in the ground, the magnesium sulfate and all the stuff to make, and the iron. We can do all this stuff. Let the people pray, you know, but, and so the earth will yield or increase. Science, science. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says, let the people praise even the earth to do it on its own. You can save a lot of money and a lot of time if you just do what the Bible says. You don't have to, as a farmer, spend all the money that people are doing on pesticides and all sorts of nonsense. You should put stuff on your plants, guys. That's just stupid not to, unless the Lord told you not to. So I mean, don't don't be don't be like, oh, we don't we don't we don't do anything to take care of our plants. And so that, that, that's an aside. But imagine the millions and millions and billions of dollars that could be saved around the world if people just believe Lord for the earth yield or increase. You'll, this means that, praise the Lord, you will never have a bad year for a crop as a farmer. Anywhere. This even includes, this doesn't work in the church or anywhere you're believing. You praise the Lord, you're not going to have a bad year. You're going to have a bumper crop all the time because the earth, earth yields the increase. And God. And also not only the earth will do her increase. And God. So we're adding God to the mix. So you praise the Lord. The earth does, does the job that it's designed to do. And God, God, so uh -oh, God's going to do something. We're talking about the creator, the source of all this, that you praised. Even our own God, our God, he's our God. That means he belongs to us. We belong to him, he belongs to us. Our God, this is a very specific God. The one, but it also means it's the God we're worshiping, the God we're serving. Our God is that, you know, Jesus says you can't serve God and mammon. So people whose God is money, people whose God is their belly, their flesh, you know, their belly will have to bless them. Their money will have to bless them, but neither of them can do that. Neither of those things can do that, but our own God. So that means if he's our God, then that means we have to treat him like God. He's got to be our God. We have to worship him and serve him as we're supposed to. See, this is thrown in the middle of this verse. We have to put priorities, prior, our priorities straight. This alleviates people who don't want to give tithes and offering. Why? Who are they serving? See, this is not a joke. If he's God, he's God. What do you think? You think you're not going to be paying tithes and offering in New, New Earth, New Jerusalem? Jesus Christ the same yesterday, day, and forever. It says Jesus receives tithes now. So if you, I mean, but we have to do what God says. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, your mind, and strength. So he, he's our God, so that means we have to put him in the place that he is. Shall bless us. Even our own God shall bless us. So God, here we go. The blessing in the God shall bless us. So we pray. Let the people praise the Lord. Let the oh God. Let the people praise the oh God. Let all the people praise the. Then and the earth should increase. And God, your own God, shall bless us. So praise and worship comes to the manifestation of the blessing too. God shall bless the earth is yielding the increase, and God blesses. So what is that? 
That's twofold blessing. The earth yields the increase and God blesses. God shall, not might, not maybe, bless us. Empower us and give us stuff. Blessing is not just empowering. Okay? When they administer the blessing, it creates and generates prosperity everywhere. It's not just Oh, you just have the blessing on you and you know, all the stuff is just on the inside. No, no, no. When God blesses your house, he brings good things into your house. When he blesses your body, he brings good things and blessings into your body. When he blesses your country, your state, your family, your business, he brings good things. He blesses. Like, oh, what a blessing. When someone gives you a blessing, they're giving you cash or money. They can speak over you. You can bless the food. We're speaking the blessing life and sanctification is going into that food. So when we say food be nourishment to our bodies whereas when we're speaking the blessing and we're blessing our food it's becoming nourishment and health and it's going to do what it's supposed to do in our bodies is not going to hurt us anything that's impure or whatever you're wherever you're out or doing or wherever in or the house anything that's impure or whatever will be removed and taken out of it so when you're administering the blessing it's doing something Even God, our own God, shall bless us. But the blessing is coming from God. The blessing that maketh rich comes from God. Remember, so this is the source of it. Not ourselves. Blessing is not I by my might did this. We can't do that. We, we can't think like that. I by my might. So we have to the source of it. And But he's the one who's going to do it. So that, was, that knocks out poverty. God will bless us. If someone's sitting in stark raven poverty and their farms and their crops aren't producing, they need to praise the Lord, get involved, get with God, ask God what's going on. If your farms aren't producing, if God's not blessing you, and people, people shall see that you're blessed of the Lord. And people can tell. So this poverty stuff, that's nonsense. This sickness stuff is, is nonsense. Poverty is not a blessing in disguise. That's a lie. God doesn't tempt people. God doesn't disguise stuff. There's nowhere in the Bible where Jesus disguised himself. We have no record of a blessing in disguise. Maybe, maybe. That's nonsense. That's a lie. If God blesses you, he blesses you. People can tell when someone's blessed. So you can tell when someone's blessed. You can tell when they're not. And so God shall bless us. God shall bless us. It says again. And God, you're wrong. God shall bless us. God shall bless us. Not might, not maybe. He shall. So if you do the praise, he's going to bless you. This is how the scripture works. That's it. Let the people praise you, God. Let all the people. Now, this is, if we add it to a whole community, then that's time. This, this is how people in little tribes and communities can get out of poverty. Everybody's doing the praising. Everybody's doing Then This is a group of people. Parents, this is a group of people. Your family should be praising the Lord. You want to get out of poverty. And God shall bless us, the group. So this is group prosperity, group community, the rain coming down and the crops being blessed. This is not your community going into oblivion, going into poverty. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Oh, this is another added. Then the earth shall yield her increase, God our crease, then the earth shall yield her increase, and God and our own God shall even God and God, even our own God shall bless us. God shall bless us. That's repeated again, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Fear of reverence, don't do what he says not to do. See, the word and name of Jesus is mocked because the God, the blessing of the Lord isn't manifesting in a lot of Christians' lives in the past. And so the people were not fearing God. You know, the, the church didn't have the power and the influence in the past, so people weren't fearing God. Oh, well, I can bury anybody who I want to. I can have sex with anything I want to have sex with. I can do drugs and drink and fornicate. You know, and lie and cheat and steal. Because, I mean, why? Who are you to tell me what? I mean, that's how the people, wicked people bucking up against the church. We don't want to hear prayer in schools. I don't want my kid to get saved. I don't want my kid to know anything about the kingdom of heaven. Wicked people do that. But why are they doing that? Because the church doesn't have the power. The church in the past did not have the power and the influence to make that person afraid. Ananias and Sapphira lied. And then get, they died. And so great fear came on when the manifestation of God Herod died. He was struck. Fear of the Lord came. So when this happens, the earth, the ends of the earth, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. What's fearing do? That makes them stop doing wrong, fear him, do right, and they get blessed too. So you see, you getting blessed makes the fear of the Lord come in, and it allows other people to get blessed. Fear of the Lord will stop people from committing sexual morality. You know, like people who rape folks, people who molest people, slavery. It'll stop them from doing that. 
Because the fear of the Lord comes in there, so they're not gonna they're not gonna be abducting people. Why? Because the fear of the Lord has fallen. See, that blesses the little poor people, the poverty, so now little kids are getting abducted. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. So this is this is God. This is supernatural. This is part of the blessing. It says, They shall all the earth shall know that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. This is in that's in Deuteronomy chapter 28. I believe it's verse 10. All the people of earth shall see that thou art called Lord, they shall be afraid of thee. A fear makes people stop doing what they're not supposed to do. Fear makes people reverence. So all the people shall reverence and fear the Lord. They'll obey him. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Psalm 67, 5 through 7. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then, then shall the earth yield her increase in God. Even our own God shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Live who be.